So we're staying in the resort tonight, which is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then on Sunday, we're gonna stay here at the Airbnb. The ticket prices were really expensive for the plane if we didn't come a day early and leave a day late. Uh, that's why we're at the Airbnb, it was great. But so today's challenge is to figure out how to ride the bus into the city, go explore the city for a while, and then take the bus back to the resort. And apparently it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully with our brains combined, we'll be able to figure it out. Well, we still got to take the bus back, but that was very fortunate that he just was happening to be leaving, was going the same way, so he offered to take us to downtown. We're out here. <laughs> and directed us to the breakfast places. Yeah, this is my back alley type of thing right here. Wow, it looks like um, it's like a Chirico painting or something. So we're in the full-on like touristy area of the city. This is the marina, obviously, where all the boats are. But along the street, everybody's trying to sell you their wares, boat rides, restaurants, <laughs> and of course, you can call Tarzan. I don't know what that'll do, but. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can get up to those rocks up there. I don't know, let's go in. Let's All right, you go in, <laughs> and I'll film it if anything crazy happens. Yeah, if I disappear, you come look at me. Okay. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> I got this hat for ten dollars. It was crucial. I was about to die. <laughs> sun. Stop, sun. Stop. We'll go along with it. <laughs> okay, so that was fun just to let them do that. But <laughs> the other day, somebody came to the door. It was like this high school kid trying to sell like windows or something. And I said, "Look, before you even start." I don't have any money, I'm not going to buy anything. He's like, well, I'm not asking you to buy anything. He's like, it's okay, good luck with what you're doing. Move on to the next person. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna go up this road because it's vaguely in the direction of a bunch of rocks and hiking looking stuff, but I don't think it'll actually take us all the way to the arc. Arch? Is it arc or arch? Arch. <laughs> well, it should take us to the beach, so the beach is over there. Maybe. Okay, this looks like just the start of a resort. I don't know. It does. We could just ask. That is just a resort of some sort, so you can't actually get to the top of the arch. He said that you can only take a water taxi there, but I did see online somewhere that said you could walk from the beach, so we're gonna go around and see if we can hike along the beach and get to it. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we've stopped at a random restaurant to have breakfast. Normally, when I'm in a country this different, it feels like I'm in kind of a haze because I've got jet lag, but I have no jet lag today, so it just feels normal. Like I'm just like in California or something. Yeah, it's very, very welcoming. We were joking about this earlier, but I keep saying, oh, this is like it's from Call of Duty or it's like from a video game. But technically, the video game is taken from real life locations like this. But this is just like Costa del Sol from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> like I'm in a resort town, you know, sun is shining. Okay, so we started like right over there, and the beach is over there, so we just keep going.
here, I can see why this place was made into a resort town. Like if you're just in the city, you're like, well, I don't get it exactly. But when you see this, it's like, oh, yeah, that's very clear. <laughs> pelicans right here. Okay, we're gonna take one of these water taxis to the arch. $12 a person. That's cheap enough. to the arch, look at the arch, then it's going to take us on a hike to the top of that. Well, that boat's packed with people. right there. So that is the arch that this place is famous for. On the way in, we actually missed it. We didn't see it because we were paying attention to the sea lions. <laughs> I think that's it right there. Top of that, got some nice vultures up there waiting to eat us. <laughs> this is super beautiful, but man, this is definitely a harsh landscape. It is hot and deserty right now. We'll just go as far as you can make it. We don't need to go all the way to the top. I wouldn't mind going all the way to the top, but I'm afraid of coming back down. Well, we'll see how far we can get up. Over there? Okay. Okay. Real hike, boy. <laughs>
Wow. See the whole bay there. That was definitely not an easy climb though. Good job, mother, climbing this far. <laughs> Climb. <laughs> yeah. How far up did we go? We went almost to the ridge. We were really close. But I didn't want to risk it, so. Well, I gotta find a way to get on the bus, figure out how to pay for the bus, and then figure out how to get off the bus. And then repeat the process after we pick up our bags. <laughs> Crossing the street, a little harrowing, but every culture has their own way. So you, so now we're gonna walk back to the apartment, get our bags, and we gotta cross over again, hop on another bus, get to the resort. But a few dirt roads on the way there. This place is definitely just like completely in development. They were just like, yo, we can make a resort out of this town. Let's just build everywhere. As you can tell, this used to just be nothing like that. Even our resort was nothing even a year ago. I think it was just a year old. Yeah. Wow. The fact that there's all of these like very nice houses and apartments and stuff being made in the middle of nowhere gives it a very Twilight Zone feel. Because you're like in a field and then suddenly you see this well-developed stuff. It's a very sharp contrast. And it's like luxury stuff. It's not... Yeah. So that little beach right there is where we were at. We went around the other side and then hiked almost up there. Came back, we're here. It's a soccer field, a lizard, and a basketball court. I didn't see that before, but they have paintball right here apparently. Something. Check it out on Sunday if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just feels like Back to the Future when he arrives in Hilldale back in the 50s oh, before it was yeah. developed. And it's just like, you get the bugs, dirt road, only a couple of smattering of houses. So, we st Okay, so thankfully, thank you to our Airbnb host, he drove us down to the street so we didn't have to walk all the way. Now we gotta catch a bus to the Chileno Resort. I think what we do is just the same thing we did last time. Hope we're, hope we're at a bus stop, wave somebody down, and then tell them where we're going. We'll see how it goes. The bus dropped us off over there, tried to walk in, and they were like, no, let us get you a car to drive you in instead. I imagine that most of the people who come here, they're already spending so much money, they'll just get a taxi anyway. Nice golf cart action. Okay, this is our room. This is literally nicer than our house by a country mile. Look at this place, man. Look, this is nicer than any house I've ever lived in. Yeah, I, mean, I would say that's probably true. There's an outside shower. Oh, you know I'm taking advantage of that, son. <laughs> we could not have afforded this resort if it was not complimentary from your instructor of the year thing. But well, man, really glad <laughs> you want that. That is really cool. So tonight there is a dinner. Louis Van Amstel is gonna be there and he's gonna do this whole thing or whatever. This is 
dinner at the beach, music, and so much fun. Cool. Okay, some flower some... seeds, some fruit. Oh yeah. Some kind of pudding, jello, <laughs> foamy. This is probably the best part, is everything in the mini bar is complimentary once a day. Look at all that. You could, you could drink yourself to death with this. I don't even mean alcohol. Once a day complimentary coffee. You know, this is a very nice city. It's like definitely a resort city. So if you're looking for just like wandering around a city and experiencing like what it's like to live as a local, probably not the best place. But if you're just looking to come to like a resort and do lots of random things and hang out at the beach, you got the money, this is a nice place. If you don't have the money, Airbnb in the city, also really cool. This is a pretty stark contrast from where I was staying last week, which is the middle of the forest around Mount Hood. Oh, even the view of the ceiling is pretty nice. First time lying on anything like this ever. It's pretty nice. <laughs> That's so, cool. so they had the turn down service and they got rid of the mountain of pillows for us. <laughs> Dinner was pretty good. A huge spread of food. I tried the desserts too, the desserts were good. Tomorrow morning, the first Louis LeBlanc class is at 8 a.m. Okay, so we'll see what we get up to tomorrow. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Ticket prices were really expensive for the plane. If we didn't come like a day early in a lead, the ticket prices for the plane were really expensive. We did if we, dang it. <laughs>